Welcome to Close Quarters as we do a very special edition during these lockdown days where we are trying to figure out what is this uncertain lifestyle that we are living in. Uh, there are different industries that face different challenges during these new set rules about limited gatherings, limited uh, places that we can meet. Uh, although we did sort of lift our head above the waters, we did sort of go back in time. So uh, to speak more about performing arts, it's one of the most important things when it comes to an event, a wedding, a moment to celebrate. We really do need the impact that will bring but unfortunately these days we have to sort of tone it down weddings are with just a very few people but what's happened to the performing art industry to speak more of because there's only one person who I know who has graced art from Sri Lanka across the world and put us globally and that's this one and only man called Channa happy to have you uh, so I really wanted to speak to you about the whole performing arts what what is happening to this industry with this whole COVID lockdown? As you know, we can't have any shows. There are no shows going on. And uh, sponsors, investors, they're not coming in. Uh, we might, we were to do some uh, virtual productions, ballets like that, but they were, we might go ahead in, in the future, we'll be uh, doing some like that. The thing is, the, as dancers, I think everyone has to be in touch. They have to be in form. They have to be well fit and all movements, everything has to be 100% correct. Mm. So, uh, we have to change the style of teaching and give them different homework and so when they come out, when everything is done, we come out with a blast. Mm. So that's the whole idea. Is there actually satisfaction in performing or singing or doing anything that is very creative and something where we have always learned with lights on, makeup, you know, we have that moment of butterflies which has been now taken off when you do something virtually. Do you have the same impact? Well, uh, to tell you the truth, we don't get the same impact. Mm. But it's nice to see the dancers on screen when we're on, when you're teaching on Zoom and all. And actually, the difference is when we teach, now normally Zoom was done for, you know, teaches in a close up. Mm. Even the dancers in front, the, yeah. the students in the close up. But we have to be on long shots. So our background has to be very plain and we have to be something in black. So our whole figure has to be seen and we should also be able to see the figure as well. So sound plays a very important part as well as the visual for them to get linked up to it. So you have to have heavy music first to get the feel. You have heavy music and you speak, you can't hear. So we have to have a clip on mic like what's mm -hmm. wearing here. So these small changes happen. And then, uh, you know, dance is something, if you take an item, it's like 100 meters. Mm -hmm. you, you think of something, your, your mind goes, you're lost, you're finished. An act is also like when you're on stage, it's like 100 meters. You, your imagination goes somewhere, you, your, your thought goes somewhere else, you're gone. Mm -hmm. This is the other way around. The teacher has to be 100 percent. He should run the 100 meters. If a thought or something goes out, the student is on because they are separate. The other thing is, advantage in Zoom classes are, I'm talking about the Zoom classes mm -hmm. because we are in that, is everyone is in front line. There yeah. is no second, <laughs> everyone is the front line, yes. so we see them. So yeah. that's, I think that's And massive. you can't be a bad <laughs> You can't be a bad Because they all have to get yeah. the front line. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that is true. Yeah. Because um, as someone who, okay, there aren't everyone who has got the opportunity in terms of, you know, working hard enough to getting to this place where you can sit today and at least wait in anticipation of when the city will open up. But for those who are struggling artists, because in our country mm -hmm. mostly mm -hmm. artists are with the word struggling in front, which is not seen. Uh, what would you tell them, especially during these days, like who have made this their career, which is a scary factor to make a decision on? Well, I think all artists, they were like machines. You know, the, the, the 24 hours, we get 24 hours. And we are given 24 hours, we should know how to use it. But we were using it mm. like machines. But now we have to manage the 24 hours, you break it into three. One, you sleep, you rest. Then eight hours. Then another eight hours, you have to work. Another eight hours, it's for yourself. So now you get two together, 16. Mm. So you should know, work in the sense for yourself. Challenge yourself, make new ideas, get new ideas, create on yourself. Anyone can, any, everyone is a creator. You don't have to fear, you can create and you have to go. So this is the good, best time to start creating on your own. Mm. Then the other way work. work is Start working, reading, getting things to move. I'll just tell you what I am doing at the moment. Uh, I'm putting choreography into paper. In dance, uh, there is a flow pathway and there is air pathway. Flow pa pathway, there are a lot of patterns which is happening. And air pathways, the, the way of movement and how the, you know, the, the air pathway, air takes us. 
And I'll just give an example. Uh, when you say flow props, you'll wonder what I'm talking about. Chogam. Okay. What I did was I, I was doing it with Bhatia. I got Bhatia to get the blueprint from London. He got the blueprint, and there's a way of keeping the chairs, the protocol, the way, way you keep the chairs and the leaders are seated. And then we had a Sandhakara Pahana right. in front. And then we had the podium on this side. So when I saw that flow pan, I have to create something with this plan because there's curves, there are different curves and there are heights and there are doors, there was a door. Oh. So according to that line, I started choreographing. So I used a flow plan which they gave and I choreographed. Then I asked for the visuals from Bhartia. Then looking at the visuals, I used my app Right. But okay. at the moment, I just give an idea what it is. Yeah. But now I am writing it. So I know what I'm doing in the flow pathway. I'm starting from one point going to another one, I will be doing pirouettes, pirouettes and going to other one, then I will go to a jet or a mm. rental jet or something, then I will go to heavy mandir, then step, so I can write all these in drawing and you make a beautiful pattern. And there will be a colour for the male like blue and for the girl, we say we have red, that's what I'm doing, for the group we have yellow and then we have to go on different patterns, then the air path is different. So I'm trying to give this pattern to all my students and tell them to create the dance. And also visually imagine yeah. How it will look. How it will look. And how you send the energy to this. Choreograph is how you send the energy to the audience. That's mm. what you do. You don't send the energy, you're gone. Yeah. And uh, it's, uh, it's like you see it at 15, uh, your angle is 15. Uh, Are yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like on a 15. <laughs> yeah, on a, we're on a 15. So coming up uh, on 50, uh, on coming out 15. It's correct. It's, it's good that, it, that you're in what, if, if I relax like this and just talk to them, I'm just totally ignoring. So, so in dance, Stay attention. Attention. Yeah. in dance, it's the same. You come forward. When you're taking a still, you come forward. So you're coming forward, you're getting connected to the audience. Mm -hmm. And these small things can be thought and found out on, in these days. There are two reasons why I'm on a 15. This chair doesn't fit me. That's a different story. I'm talking about the angle. I'm talking about the angle. <laughs> yeah, I'm talking with the anger. Yeah, that's another part of yeah. it. Uh, when you walk into this dance studio, <laughs> if you don't fit into the chair, you're out so, yeah, comfortably. You know. But um, I wanted to speak to you about, you know, there are different committees and bodies that have come forward to help. Like, even if you take the Western Music Association, there, there are associations that have been formed. Mm -hmm. And, you know, sometimes what people tend to forget is, okay, you see the bigger picture when it comes to a situation what we are facing right now okay like oh that singer must be not performing these days or oh, the mm. light guy may not be doing the lights anymore mm. but there are so many levers in that you know there's even a person who will transport the equipments to a hotel or to a venue even his job has been crippled like if you do take the food chain even the carpenters who do the stage correct so there's such a long pathway when it comes to this art form is there like a committee or like for for these kind of there is there are, there are a few in the okay. dance media, there are a few. Uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm in half okay. of these, yeah. And I'm helping them as well and it's functioning. Right. So they know who is getting on well, what's happening on that side. Some have steady jobs, some the, their employment was only performing, some know. So we had to look into them and how they're working and then we help them, we call them, we go and see them and they're with us. Okay. That's to keep their heart, you have, to, you have to be with them because dance is a subject not what you do it only with the hand, it's from inside. So if your inside is not comfortable and you can't throw out, yeah. it will be, be a fake movement coming out. Uh, just wanted to ask you because the, something that we have all noticed during this whole COVID lockdown is the fact that people have really struggled emotionally and they have been so drawn out in terms of finding positivity, trying to see whether there is actually light at the end of the tunnel. So one of the reasons why we wanted to do this show, Close Quarters, is to speak to people who have established themselves to ask them how do they keep their mind sane during these days. How do you do it? Well, I think positive. That's why I said manage my time and I think positive and they're having a positive. I, I use the time according to what I get. So I, the time I did not get at that time, I get now. Hmm. I spend more time with my family. So everything is like cluttered and but we walk. And when you have a positive thought, you always should have a positive thought and we know that we are moving. Hmm. And, and you see the light there. If you don't think what's going to happen, you finish, you're finished. So you're, you're moving, you're creating, you're living. Mm. So that's the whole idea behind it. And I think most of them, uh, the most creative uh, work started when war, war was on. No? That's the true. Second World War was there. Piano parts are going, music pieces are coming out, ballets are coming out, films are coming out, drama. So, so use the period on something good like that. Mm. And that inspires you exactly. to create more. Yeah. Uh, 
for a day, what does your day look like? You wake up in the morning because we are mostly crippled at home these days, yeah. even if you like, unless people like us trying to do something because we have like a flexibility in some form. H how is your normal day like? Well, I normally get up at 6 30, but now it's about 7 30, 8. Yeah, because you have <laughs> <don't. laughs> <laughs> But uh, I listen to a lot of chants. Okay. And uh, there are times when I do walk, then I go do my exercises, then when I use my body, the times I use my body, since I'm not using it now, I use a spin bike. So I'm still working out. Right. I am on that. I do my stretching in my room. And I just, I know the days I walked, I know when I walked, jog, whatever things I did, but with dancing, all that time, I'm not getting it now, but I'm on the spin bike. I'm stretching in front of the mirror. I do some movements, stretching up. and feeling the music and uh, talk to Upuli and Asik and talk about creativity, what are we going, what are we going to do in the next lesson, how do we capture the crowd, the dancers, mm. and uh, because they are in different, different Zoom classes, we have yeah. to be totally different. Yeah. And, and it's uh, like a new way of thinking. New way of thinking yeah. uh, to tra get the attraction, so there's a lot of discussions and we watch TV together, all three together in one big, we all mm. just bow, watch yeah. TV. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's nice. It, yeah. it, it, it's, it's lovely. It's lovely in this way. I'm not saying it has to be like this. But, but it's a different way of thinking. Way of thinking. Yeah. We might be totally different after this COVID uh, lockdown. We might turn, I mean, the whole of, uh, the whole of the world will turn up because yeah. it's going to turn around. A lot, a lot. Now, if, if this is not going on, we know the mechanic, uh, in the um, factories, how much uh, things are happening in factories. Mm. You know, experiments coming out. And uh, I heard that France was coming at a new car. You just went push your car into a side, it just drives in. Yeah, and parks itself. Yeah, and, and that's and what I really need. <laughs> <laughs> I do the stop actually. <laughs> so, uh, in one way, I think it's... it's yeah, a it's lot cleanse. of time for We're people cleanse. to think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so, you know, normally, well, I try my best to be at shoots on time. But today, <laughs> of course, I woke up with a panic attack. I was like, I have to be here at 11 sharp. Even if I don't make it, I need to make it up to the gate at 11. That's all I wanted. <laughs> and I achieved that goal for the only reason with him, there's no uh, take two on time. There's always take one on time. If the others are not here who are supposed to be here, he will just move on with his day. So. Uh, how do you handle that now with Zoom? You know, there's always this thing, signal like a radar <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to get this time back. 11.37. You're not going to get 11.37 again. So take the maximum. Uh, well, uh, you're using the other person's time. It's his or her time you're using That's if you true. get late. <laughs> if you go late to the house, you might that, that really hit me hard. <laughs> well, when it comes to time, Upuli's father, he was punctual plus plus okay so those are lessons our teachers give us lots of lessons he is punctual so you had to work to time at that time to yeah. somehow convince upuli so <laughs> <laughs> it stayed in practice <laughs> it all starts with love all right thank you so very much for sharing your thoughts and how you see it and um, you know i think uh, i really hope uh, when we do come out of uh, this grey patch that we are facing. There's more art to see, there's more talent to see, there's more performance to see because... And you can join. Uh, of course. In a ballet. We're going to do a ballet and I think you, yeah. you, you hit uh, Bharatanatyam. Yes, so you, thank you, in. thank you. So you're in. Yeah. I have to fit into this chair or I can just no, no. embrace <laughs> this? I, I have a couch. Ah, I thank do. you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, on that note, thank you so very much for sharing your thoughts during this COVID. I really hope that when we do come out of it, there's more of you to see and your school to see and your team to see. Thank you so very much. Thank you, Matt. Uh, speak to us soon with more on High TV as we bring you more episodes of Close Quarters. Till then, you keep safe. Take care.